Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a book called A Leaf Can Be by Laura Purdy Salas and the illustrations are by Violetta Gabilla. This is a very pretty book and maybe it'll encourage you to want to go out for a little walk after you read it. A leaf, a leaf is a leaf. It bursts out each spring when sunny days linger and orioles sing. These are oriole birds. <clears throat> a leaf can be a soft cradle, water ladle, sun taker, food maker, tree topper, rain stopper, skin welter, bat shelter, shade spiller, mouth filler, air cleaner, earth greener. A leaf is a leaf, a bit of a tree, but when cool days come chasing, it also can be a lake glider, wind rider, Pile grower, hill glower, see the color, frost catcher, moth matcher, same color, fine healer, snake concealer, oh. ground warmer, nest former. A leaf is a leaf, a bit of a tree. Now, un now go and discover what else it can be. Now that's the end of the story, but at the end of this book, it also tells us all about what they were meaning when they were um, describing what a leaf can be in the story. So I want to read this part to you as well. More about leaves. We all know leaves grow on trees and other plants, but did you know that leaves have many jobs? Some are practical, like making food for the tree. Others are beautiful or fun, like dancing in the wind. Soft cradle, so they talked about that at the beginning. Certain kinds of caterpillars spin cocoons around themselves and turn into moths. Some caterpillars spin their cocoon right on leaves. The leaf acts as a cradle, keeping the cocoon safe until the moth comes out. Water ladle. A ladle is like, like something you put your, um, scoop your soup, right? Animals don't use bowls or spoons or cups, but many drink out of leaves. Leaves shape make them perfect for holding dew or rainwater. Dew is the, the moisture that we get on the leaves and on the grass in the morning. <clears throat> sun taker, one of the major jobs of a leaf is to take in sunlight. Food maker, along with sunlight, leaves take in air and water. They turn these things into food for plants or the tree. Food for the plant or the tree. This is called photosynthesis. Have you heard that word before? We're gonna be talking about that a little bit later. Tree topper. This is how we usually think of leaves, the green tops of trees. Imagine what the world would look like if trees were only trunks and limbs with no leaves. That would be hard to imagine. Rain stopper. Flat, broad leaves shelter things underneath the tree from rain. Never stand under a tree during a thunderstorm, though. Why do you think that is? I want you to think about that at home. Skin welter. Not all leaves are nice to touch. Poison ivy will cause red itchy bumps or welts to form on your skin. Bat shelter. Some leaves shelter animals. Tiny Honduran white bats, for instance, make a line down the center of a large rainforest leaf. They chew through some of the leaf's veins and the leaf folds down around them like a tent. Shade spiller. On a hot August day, what could be better than the cool shade of an oak tree? Mouth filler. Leaves can be tasty. Apes, giraffes, insects, and many other animals eat leaves. Humans do too. Have you eaten lettuce or spinach lately? Air cleaner. When leaves take in air, they also take in tiny bits of pollution out of the air. Leaves also send out clean oxygen, a chemical in the air that people need to breathe. So leaves are really important. And I thought that that was a really nice book. So maybe you can go and observe some leaves in your neighborhood this week.